art is often hard to label. Art is both form and content, yet is in constant change. It can be highly personal, and often the artist's intended message is lost in translation or misinterpreted. Artists will bear their souls in an effort to connect with other beings or to impart an enduring message. Others create for the pure joy of the experience. Tennessee-based artist Mike Andrews is an amalgamation of all. To better understand his sculptural works, one could group his art into three categories. Monumental outdoor artworks, industrial assemblages, and carvings and castings. Mike Andrews is both artist and educator. As a public school art teacher, he encourages his students to explore artistic options. As a prolific artist, he has quietly created art in a hillside studio behind his rural Montgomery County home for nearly two decades. Here, Andrews intuitively approaches his art as creative inspiration guides him. His latest body of work is a series of industrial assemblage wall sculptures and freestanding artworks using old wooden patterns that were originally created for metal castings as far back as the Industrial Revolution. A unique relationship has evolved over the years between Andrews and Clarksville foundry owner Charles Faust. It's a relationship built on mutual respect, history, and love of art. The 165-year-old foundry facility has long been a metal casting resource for Andrew's sculpture. I've really been fortunate to have the uh, pattern pieces from the foundry. They're really kind of amazing shapes and they were crafted well some of these things like 100 years ago. I, I've saved these patterns for probably 30 years. They were just too, too precious in terms of, of the quality of the woodwork and, and the skill and, and the, the history and heritage it represents to Clarksville Foundry. The patterns themselves are works of art. In, in many cases, they could stand alone easily uh, as a wall piece or a freestanding piece. So to see them used, uh, you know, taken out of storage and, and make art with them like this is just incredible. Now, these retired patterns provide Andrews with a resource of new old stock that has become his parts inventory for the industrial assemblages. Combing through his stockpile of patterns, he arranges selected objects several times before settling on a final composition. So when I'm kind of going through these pattern pieces, I'm looking at all these wonderful shapes, and I'm trying to find similar shapes. Shapes that have certain kind of curves to them or angles to them. Stuff that where I can create a kind of unity in the compositions that I make. So I'm basically getting as many of those shapes together so that I can create uh, an interesting composition. Design and fabrication take on new meaning as the artist employs dimension and scale for powerful, engaging visual impact. My first impression of Mike's work was they had wall power. And when I'm evaluating, even for example for art competitions, I mean, I'm looking at wall power. The first thing I do is scan when I walk into a show, any show, anywhere, museum, gallery, anywhere, New York, Chicago, Miami, Paris, wherever, when I walk into a museum, I scan the space to see if there's anything worthy of my attention. Um, I think we all sort of do that. And, and that's what we call wall power. That's what we're looking for, something that will grab your attention and, and draw you in. But a, a good piece of artwork continues to be interesting. As you get closer, you become more and more intrigued and you start seeing things close up that you could not see from the distance. From minute detail to sheer volume, the old stock takes new form within each assemblage. Pieces and parts intersect, layer, combine, and coexist in new planes and relationships. 
As the art of Mike Andrews continues to evolve, the desire is to see more of his monumental works and industrial assemblages in public spaces where people can interact with them. It is there that Mike Andrews' sculpture can challenge us to think beyond what was or what is and to consider what could be as we contemplate the creative human spirit.